Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about how to add a column into Microsoft Excel. This will be a super quick tutorial. Um, so if you do find it useful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It does mean a lot to us. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Excel. Okay, so in this example here, I just have um, various pieces of data in an Excel sheet. Now, if I would like to add a column into um, a specific part of the document, um, this can be easily achieved just by selecting the location where you would like the column to be. So if I would like the new column to be in column L or to become column L, all I then do is actually highlight the entire column by clicking on the letter itself. That will by default highlight everything within it. Give it a right click, coming down the list and finding the insert button. If we click on the insert, column L has been inserted and everything that was on the right hand side of um, what we had previously selected gets shunted over to the right and a new column is inserted here but labeled L. Um, there's a, a finite amount of um, columns in Excel so basically it would knock off one column at the very end of your document and then insert a new one here moving your data across the right hand side um, as you add columns in. Now the same thing can be done here I can right click and delete what I had inserted and now everything that was on the right hand side of that column gets shunted over to the left and we have region back in column L. Now you do not have to do one column at a time you can do multiple columns. I can select two columns like this, right click on the L and click insert and I insert two columns moving region, month and sales over to the right hand side. If I just delete these out again um, and select both L and M, if I right click on M and click on insert, I'm always inserting on the left hand side of the column that was highlighted. So because I had highlighted L and M, but right clicked on M, I'm still inserting to the immediate left of L because L is the first column that I have highlighted. So it's important to note that, um, but you can use this to insert data in between data sets um, and multiple columns or fewer columns, however many columns you would like. Um, and you can obviously right click and delete that out. Uh, right click and delete that out if you make any mistakes. If you have a table like this here, so this is just raw data in Excel that you convert to a table. Uh, I can do that just by clicking on the format as table button, choosing a style that I like and then just clicking OK there. That has now formatted this as a table. If I come here and um, highlight column L, give that a right click and click insert, because I'm inside a table, I've inserted a new column into my table. Um, every column has to have a header. So Excel has now assumed that this new column I've added in is going to be called column one. And I'd have to retitle that so that the data that sits in that column starts to make a lot more sense. Um, and again, the same principle applies. You can add in multiple columns. And what Excel will do is add column two, column three into that table. Um, and you'll obviously just have to rename these accordingly. Every name in your table, uh, header that is, every named header in your table should um, have a unique name. It shouldn't be something that um, gets repeated because later on when you start using um, more advanced Excel functions, you get to query those um, specific um, table names um, in other um, Excel formulas and functions. Okay, um, but that is it guys. That's how you add a column into a Microsoft Excel document. And hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, please click the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. Um, you'll get notified of all of our um, future releases and tutorial videos and all of the, the various basics to advanced features of Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Teams, um, Outlook and so forth. Um, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.